Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenneth from Gongpo, a company committed to mobile solutions. Lots of people are complaining about how fast their iPhone drain after upgrading to iOS 16. Today, I will share some battery drain issues improvement tips, some you may not know. Before we start, I recommend restart your iPhone if you haven't turned your iPhone off for a while. It's better restart your phone monthly or weekly for once. Think of this as a big cleanup. Offloading those system cages will make your iPhone faster and maybe even save some battery. When you find that the battery life is shorter than before after upgrading the system, you can open battery in seconds. And check battery usage of apps to find out what apps consume the most power. If you see an app that you don't normally use, and it suddenly shows in this area, then it might be running in the background without notice. You can reduce their use in the settings. Next, go to Settings. Privacy and Security. Apps Privacy Report. Then scroll down to Open App Privacy Report. Set app-related permissions. App Privacy Report allows apps to view 7 days of background data and save it on your device. Apps will run in the background and keep collecting your data, which leads to a certain amount of power consumption. I recommend that you set the relevant permissions for different apps. For example, you can turn off app permissions, change location to never, change photo permissions to none, Turn off microphone, turn off background running. Left apps in the background will still receive and refresh in the background. So turn off the apps you don't need on the switcher. Background apps refresh is the same. Go to the settings page. General. Background apps refresh. Turn off the apps you don't need. It could save a laptop battery. In order to analyze and improve their own products and services, Apple will let you choose whether or not to open the iPhone analysis feature when setting up your new iPhone. I recommend you to turn off this feature. Go back to Settings, Privacy and Security, Analytics and Improvements. Turn off Share iPhone and Analytics. In order to push the appropriate ads according to user habits, Apple advertising will run all the time. If you don't want this, you better turn it off. Settings. Scroll down to Privacy and Security. Apple advertising. Turn off the personalized ads. Next, turn off some location and system services. Go to the setting page, tap the Privacy and Security option. Then, Get into location services first. Here are the apps that need to access your location. If you authorize them always, they will constantly access your location in the background. So I recommend allowing them access only while using. Then tap the system services option. There are a lot you can choose to turn off, like Apple Pay merchant identification, cell network search, compass calibration, device management, home kit, location-based alerts, location-based suggestions. Next, go back to the setting page. In the sound and haptics, find keyboard feedback. You can see haptics. This makes you feel much better when typing on iPhone, but it also consumes a lot of battery. Whether you turn it on or off, it's up to you. Then, go back to the setting page again, and scroll down and find Mail. Tap Account and fetch new data. Here, I recommend turn off Push if you can use Mail a lot. It will constantly push new emails to you, which take a lot of battery. And below Fetch, Mail will check if there is a new email in the background from time to time. Here, I choose every one hour, or you can choose manually. Go to second page, Accessibility, Motion. Turning on Reduce Motion could save you some battery, but the lock screen is so awesome. I mean, 
Why not? Limit frame rate option. You can turn it on, but I don't recommend it. Once you use the high flash rate for a while, it's hard for your eyes to apply to the lower one. Again, setting page, tap display and test size. Scroll to the bottom, make sure your auto brightness is turned on. Auto brightness adjustment gives you the best screen brightness in based on your current ambient lighting. So, you can increase battery life to some extent. If your iPhone supports the always on display feature, you should notice that this feature takes a lot of power too. According to other people's tests, AOD on will take 1 to 3 percent per minute more battery usage than AOD off. iOS 16 has an amazing widget feature. You can quickly browse for information. But some widgets may always need to run in the background. If there are some unused widgets, I will recommend you close them. Slide to the left of the main interface widget page. Slide to the bottom of edit to close the useless app queues. That's a wrap on today's video. Thanks for tuning into today's video. If you find this video helpful, do drop a like and a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on any updates. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!